Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to another daily vlog. Um, it's kind of getting semi-daily, isn't it? I'm sorry. We're going to get back to dailies. Um, anyways, today, right, right now I want to start off by saying if you're not part of the team, what are you doing? Um, hit, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell right next to it. Join the notification gang. But, uh, yeah, so today we are going to the shop, obviously. Um, but I think today I'm going to teach you guys how to... Um, make the mixture um, my, how i make my mixture everybody's mixture is different um but how i make my mixture and how to load and set up and use the airbrush kit so that should be fun right so we're gonna do that and then hopefully we might, might get into some most shenanigans we'll see how it goes but uh let's go to the shop right now i gotta i'm gonna stop and get some coffee i'm running a little early this morning so it's kind of tight so we're gonna stop and get some coffee real quick on our way to the shop Let's go. I can act like I'm going to get coffee. I always get a Rebel drink. I don't know why. I was craving coffee this morning too. I just, I just got, you know what I'm saying, a Rebel drink, but whatever. We're driving to the shop now. Got my, got my caffeination, which I don't know why I drink it, but whatever. Headed to the shop. Let's go. This is a first. The whole time I've been working at the shop so far, I haven't ran into any traffic like this. This is definitely a first, but uh, it's not bad, so get to it. Okay, so <clears throat> I got to address something else too. My YouTube name was recently changed um, to my actual name, which was weird, but I'm working with YouTube trying to get it changed back. Apparently, I don't, I don't even know what happened. I just logged in one day and it was changed <clears throat> so I think it had something to do with me trying to get paid from YouTube because they were trying to pay me but I had to verify some stuff so I put in my name and it changed it I didn't know it was changing my YouTube thing so anyways that's the reason um, that it's changed people are like oh you don't act like you didn't change it I didn't change it I swear to you I didn't change it but uh so that's the issue um, I'm trying not this autofocus today. I'm gonna try to see how it works. It's, it's moves a little too much for me, man. That's a little noisy, but uh, we're hopefully with that with the uh, external mic on, it doesn't catch too much of it. But we're almost at the shop right now. I have an appointment in 20 minutes, and uh, <clears throat> then we're gonna get started on the airbrush kit. Let's go. Okay, so we are uh, at the shop right now. I'm about to eat some lunch. We're walking to watching the Mika auctions. They're walking around some dope trucks. But uh, yeah, and then we're gonna get started on this airbrush kit. Let me see. Show you guys here. So right there, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you guys all the colors that I have, and how to load the gun, and how to spray with it. So but right now, using this here potato salad. Do that. About to get on this catfish and this chicken. So I'll get back with y'all. Okay, lunch is over, so now let's get to talking about this airbrush kit. This is the kit that I have bought. In. This is a master airbrush kit. Um, bought it on Amazon. There was there's a link in the description below. It's about 50 bucks. It comes with the compressor, the airlines, the plug-in cord, the gun itself. Um, and everything that you need to get started pretty much and then we're also going to cover what colors what colors we use um, so for my beard I use um, cedar red brown and dark auburn together um, and these are kiss expressions um, these, I use quick cover because it, it covers the gray a little bit better um, and it just fills in a little bit better too, in my opinion. So, those are those colors. Yeah. 
Um, darkest brown is usually what I use on uh, most of my clients, and you can feather it in. It's the same. It's the same one that you would use um, for your fiber color. Same one. Um, so the total colors that I have, I have dark auburn, cedar red brown, darkest brown, and I have a natural black. I haven't used the natural black yet, but I think we're going to try it out on Stokes because I need to mix this up to show you guys how to do it. So I'm also going to show you guys how to apply it as well. So we're going to use natural black. We're going to do it on Stokes. Um, let's get a little bottle here. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some focus. You're gonna need a clear bottle, just something to mix with your water and your coloring. So we're gonna do, oh also a good thing to have too is the color remover. So um, this will remove, cause this stuff stains the skin. That's how you get that effect on the beards and stuff like that. So a good thing to have for this is also the remover. This will wipe away any stains that you may put on somebody that you would need to correct. This is a good thing to have. The price on these bottles um, here in Portland where I get them at is about uh, four and some change. They're under five bucks a bottle. And this, this much, they're cheap, way cheaper than fibers. This much paint, or not paint, I shouldn't call it paint. This much, um, it's about this full. This much um, hair color will um, last me a long time. So, and this is actually only this much color and the rest is water. So, um, we're gonna show you guys how to mix that up though. Let's do that real quick. Um, we're gonna jump over to the counter. We'll give you guys a walk around of the airbrush kit too. And then we'll show you guys how to uh, load it and then apply it. So let's go. Okay, so right here we have the airbrush kit. This is a master airbrush kit. This is the walk around of it. Right now it is on, okay. This does not turn on until you hit the trigger. You can hear it, I'll put it up next to the mic. It's super quiet, y'all. This little holder piece for the gun comes out. It just sits right here. This rest here. It looks super nice on my station too. Um, I keep it tucked away in a little corner next to my station stand. So this is the basic construction of the of the airbrush gun. Okay, let me focus this up a little bit more. You can see master airbrush. Okay, so this is your input nozzle. So there's no back pressure. So it's, it's running air right now, but anyways, you thread this on here. Okay, it's a uh, braided hose, it's cloth, rubber cloth. Um, and then inside here, this just kind of wiggles off. It doesn't twist, it, doesn't, it just sits in there. Um, mine's a little thick right now. I need to swap it out. <clears throat> anyways, this is where you put your color mixture. And then when you push this down, it activates the compressor. And then your flow is controlled by your lever being pulled back. So the more that you, so you can see the napkin here. So if I push down, barely any color, right? If I get close, I can really put some color in there. As I open this up, you'll see it start to So you see that? Push, push down, that starts the airflow. And you pull your finger back. That creates your, we'll call it your product flow. So that's how you do that. Now to fade this and create those good like fade lines, what you do is you kind of like feather it a little bit. So you like bring this back a little bit. And then you want to hold it back about six inches from your canvas. You can create super light lines instead of dark painted lines. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wash this out and we're going to mix our color and uh, we'll be right back. 
Okay, so we're back. Gun is cleaned out. You guys can see this. This is the inside. So it looks like. Not bad, right? So we're gonna set this off to the side. We're gonna take our bottle. Tilt this down a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna do natural black since I haven't done this one yet. So, um, and my mixtures are super rough. I'm, I go by texture of what the. Oh, so I literally just. So about that much. Um, color. I spilled so much right here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do about equal portion of water. So I do like a, you could say like a 50-50 mix. 50% color, 50% water. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to mix this up. And the reason you mix this with water is so that it, it sprays easier. Okay, so now we're going to hook our hook our gun back up. Hook that back up. Let's uh I'm gonna change out our paper towel real quick. Stay. Okay, new paper towel. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our mixture. We're just gonna pour it in here. You can see how thin it is. And fill up our cup, not all the way, but pretty close. Leave about a, I don't know, a quarter inch, maybe. So I forgot my lid over at the wash station. I'm gonna set this here and be right back. Okay, our uh, cap is on it now. Now let's uh, do a couple test sprays. We'll turn it on. Okay, now it's coming out really thin. So, which tells me my mixture's too thin. Which means, <clears throat> what I do is we're going to dump this back in here. Now you can measure this out. I typically eyeball it, so we're just gonna add some more color in here. Okay, so add some more color in there. I'm gonna try to make this a little thicker. I think you're just gonna mix this up. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so it's a lot better. Now let's go grab Stokes and uh, we're gonna put some on his head. Okay, so Stokes needs a little touch up. He yeah. needs some color enhancing on him. He wanted a little part design, so we're gonna throw some in there too. So this is the before. 
Your shoulder hairline. You know, it looks regular. So then we're gonna show you guys what the after looks like. We got a we got a, uh, a we got a brief intermission real quick. Somebody came in for a cut, so uh, I got a cut, and then uh, we'll get back to doing what we was doing. Okay, back to what we was doing. Start on the taper. Let's go. Okay, so we got Stokes in there. I'll show you guys a little bit. I'm gonna spin him a little bit. So you guys can see the, the design work. So we just gave him some ball tapers with the little design. But now we about to enhance his hairline with this touch-up spray. So let's uh, let's get that. Okay, so first things first. We line them up with our um, trimmers. Okay, so we're gonna take our our placement card and our airbrush kit. You guys can see the paint come out there. So we're gonna turn him. All you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna place your card. You place your card here, and you're gonna spray above the hairline. Try not to be too heavy towards the hairline. So let's we'll zoom in a little closer so we can see the work a little better. Okay, so we're gonna try it right here. So we're gonna go boom. And you see how far back I'm holding the gun? I'm gonna set this edge right here. So I'm shooting the card first and then bringing it over. Okay, now if you, I didn't do it on this, but if you tend to have a heavy spot, you can brush it in. Okay. So for his, I wanna go a little darker. So I'm gonna put my card back. You can always add more dye. It's hard to take it away. Okay, so there's our base coat. Right? My battery's about to die, so let me switch my battery real quick. Okay, battery's changed. We're back now. I had to adjust my settings and my gun, so we're gonna touch this up a little bit more. Okay, so once we have that line set, take our uh, take our razor. Edge him up. So now we're going to move him. Now we're going to do the center of his hairline. From here. Okay. I'm just going to do this other side too. For time efficiency. So now we're gonna brush them in. Now for this side. Okay, first we're gonna edge them up.
So for this side, we have a design to work off of too. So what we're gonna do, I'll turn them so you guys can see the design a little better. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna only touch up this edge. Brush that in. Now for this, we're gonna work quickly with the, the color and the razor because we don't want the, the we don't want the color to stain the skin inside of the design. So we're gonna work quickly on this. Pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna darken this point here, this point here. That's gonna create a more in depth depth of field on the points so it's gonna look like this okay so we're gonna touch that up and come back with the razor Okay. Now to make this neck taper pop a little bit more, we can take our gun and we can put this like this and we can add a little enhancement on the neck. But as always, we're gonna brush it in. And then you can touch this up with a pair of clippers or the razor. For his, I'm gonna do it with some clippers. And we got a little bit of spray in the circle, so we're gonna touch that up too. So that's what your design is going to look like after you add the enhancement to it. Now for his bottom piece right here, I want to enhance that just a little bit more. So I'm going to bring this just like this. And I'm going to feather this way. I'm going to brush that in a little bit. Take the razor. And then boom. There you have it. So that is your enhanced hairline. Let's take this off and look at it real quick. Make sure y'all follow my man. At that stokes. So here's the after. Looks pretty good. Oh, that's what you sent it. Stokes the barber. So there's our cut. That's a wrap. So there you guys have it. We did the uh the style on Stokes. Um, we also just shot a little montage on KK, so uh, let's check that out real quick. I think make sure y'all go follow, follow her uh, style for KK. Her Instagram link is um, in the video and also below. So 
But I think that's why I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. It was a pretty short one today, but uh, we covered a lot of stuff, so this is it for the day. I'm vlogging on the gimbal right now because I just got done shooting that uh that montage. But uh yeah, so this is the end of the vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. If you guys have any more questions about the airbrush kit, drop a comment below. I have linked a link to Amazon. If you guys want to buy one, use my link. It helps me out. I get a little, I'll give you a little commission off that. So uh, get that, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.